right, Joe, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you've heard the news yet. I don't know if you've heard this, John. But after nine years in prison, O.J. Simpson has been granted parole. That's right. The juice is loose. Wow. Wow. I think they're chanting, juice. Wow. O.J. got away, baby. Orenthal is soaring, y'all. Wow. Finally, he has the opportunity to find the real killer. Step one. <laughs> buy a mirror. Oh. Okay? It'll help. <laughs> Say what you want about O.J. He never met with Sergei Kislyak. <laughs> Unlike his buddy here, uh, that was back... Oh. That was... Hey, come on now. Don't be too harsh. That was back in 1993. When it was still a coin toss, which one of those guys would be president and which one would end up in jail? <laughs> Maybe both. We might get a twofer. We might get a twofer. Don't go glove shopping. Speaking of which, it's also the six-month anniversary of Donald Trump's inauguration. I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure what you give uh, for six months. Uh, I know after six months, I'm taking Xanax. <laughs> I can't believe well, it's just six months. Yeah. It seems yeah. so much longer than six oh, months, doesn't it? Seems it's like crazy. A long time. One of our staffers had a baby born on the inauguration day, and here's that same baby today. <laughs> the stress. It's all the stress. Yeah, it gets it's to you. It's the cortisol. Yeah. yeah. Well, he'll be fine. Well, yeah. to celebrate lasting six months, yesterday, Donald Trump gave an interview to the Failing New York Times. <laughs> First, Donald Trump talked about the Senate Republicans who are on the fence about supporting his health care bill. I think we have six people who are really sort of okay. They are all good people. We don't have bad people. I know the bad people. Believe me, do I know bad people. Oh. Oh, sir. I, hey, hey. I believe you. <laughs> Trump bragged about all he's accomplished so far. I've given the farmers back their farms. I've given the builders back their land to build houses and to build other things. <laughs> the word you're looking for is buildings. <laughs> you know those big things with your name on the outside? But it wasn't just domestic bragging. Oh, no. Donald Trump loves himself overseas, too. I've had the best reviews on foreign land. So I go to Poland and make a speech. Enemies of mine in the media, enemies of mine are saying it was the greatest speech ever made on foreign soil by a president. Are you sure? Are you sure they didn't say it was a foreign speech by a president greatly soiling himself? <laughs> Because I saw that speech. Hey, I saw the... You know... I saw the speech. He could have had that old soil. Trump was especially proud of his Bastille Day visit with French President Emmanuel Macron. We had dinner at the Eiffel Tower, and at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower looked like they could have never had a bigger celebration ever in the history of the Eiffel Tower. I mean, there were thousands and thousands of people, because... They heard we were having dinner. <laughs> also, and people don't know this, also, just for my visit, they built this Arc de Triumph to, I think, to celebrate how I won in Wisconsin so huge. <laughs> now. <laughs> yes. They built, yes. Yeah. 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 It's time we all applauded his win in Wisconsin. <laughs> now, one takeaway from uh, Trump's adventure was his famous endless mano-a-mano -mano handshake with the French president. Forget about a cold war with Russia, I think we're having a thumb war with France. <laughs> During the interview with the Times, Trump talked about Macron, saying, he's a great guy, smart, strong, loves holding my hand. <laughs> People don't realize he loves holding my hand. And that's good as far as that goes. I mean, really, he's a very good person and a tough guy. But look, he has to be. I think he's going to be a terrific president of France, but he does love holding my hand. 
And I tell you, that's totally weird because I know where that hand has been. <laughs> and oh. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Oh. And hey, hey. Trump finally explained why at the G20 dinner he left his seat and went over to Vladimir Putin. So I was seated next to the wife of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan, and she's a terrific woman, but doesn't speak English. Like, not hello. <laughs> okay, I can see why you'd want to get up and go someplace else, but I'm not sure that's true because Mrs. Abe has given at least one speech in English. <laughs> Sir, I think she was faking it. <laughs> I think she just. Hello, Mrs. Abe. Oh, konnichiwa. No habla inglés, Senor Trump. <laughs> and this Our is true. Trump. I'm very excited about this. We now have actual video of Donald Trump after his conversation with Putin. He's gone back to his original seat, but he's still gesturing at Putin. Are you, you great? I'm looking at you. There you go. Here's my hand. You don't know where it's been. You too. What are you doing? All right, how about this? How about this? You, me, collude. <laughs> I think, I don't know what that, I don't know. This thing where he moves it back and forth, this thing, I just want to point out that I made that exact same gesture earlier this week on this show, and I got blurred. <laughs> was I, was I being too presidential? And Trump also made this interesting claim. When Nixon came along, inaudible, <laughs> was pretty brutal, and out of courtesy, the FBI started reporting to the Department of Justice. But there was nothing official. There was nothing from Congress. There was nothing, anything. But the FBI person really reports directly to the President of the United States, which is interesting. You know, which is interesting. <laughs> and I think we're going to have a great new FBI director. Oh, oh, I see. So the top law enforcement, the top cop in the country will report directly to you with nobody else in the room. No one will know. So it's like the police, but, um, but secret. <laughs> the Justice Department would not see these police. They would be Nazi police, I think you would call them. <laughs> then... Oh. Or hey. no see? No hey. see or Nazi? Hey. Nancy, Nancy, Nazi. Yeah, Nazi's good. <laughs> then Donald Trump talked about the firing FBI Director James Comey. Why would somebody say he has every right to fire me? Ba ba ba. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just say, "Hey, I've retired"? <laughs> yes. Why didn't Comey just say he's retired? I just want to remind everybody out there that he was in Los Angeles. Comey was at an FBI event and found out he was fired live from a TV in the room. Uh, sir, uh, they say you're being fired on TV. What? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I retire. <laughs> well, my work is done here. Why did he just say, I retire? Why did he just say, I retire? That was Trump's famous catchphrase for The Apprentice, wasn't it? You're retired. <laughs> when asked about the special prosecutor, Robert Mueller, Trump said he shouldn't have been appointed, and Trump warned that Mueller should stay out of investigating his finances. Oh, that's not a red flag at all. <laughs> sure, the police are welcome to search anywhere in my house as long as they don't dig up the patio. There's nothing to see down there. <laughs> or the shed out back and forget the crawl space. It's way too crowded already. <laughs> well, it turns out uh, the president's warning evidently did not work out so well because today it came out that Mueller has expanded his probe into Trump's personal business transactions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir, uh... Mr. Trump, uh, Mr. Trump, uh, could you please warn Mueller not to subpoena your taxes? 